Oh. Get it. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. This is Linden. Right back there, it looks like a deer jumped out in front of one of the cars because the deer's on the side of the road, the front of the car is a mess. Um, there are some people who stopped to help, so we didn't stop, but there was a deer that had jumped out, so it's called be careful driving down these country roads. You don't want deer just jumping out in front of you. How you doing? I'm Sean. I have a YouTube channel I'm traveling with everybody called hey. Junkyards and Barn Finds. Oh, hey, sure. And then I saw this car and I'm like, you ain't on the tour, but I got to find out about this car. Well, it's what's a... What's your name? I'm Sean. Chuck Avon. Hey, Chuck. And what town are we in, by the way? Hole and Wall. H-O-H-E-N-W-A-L-D. Okay, Hole and Wall. Oh. So tell me a little bit about well, this. Well, I, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. A guy that I've since made real good friends with. Uh, got it in Colorado. Okay. So it's a it's kind of a West Coast Colorado mountain car. Somebody had started it. Uh, he had one when he was a kid, and he since bought a black on black with a you know a, a driver. Right. They put this one up for sale, and I bought it. I always loved the B bodies. Okay. So uh, we went ahead and built it. It's got a narrowed nine inch. Yeah, I saw it's not a little not stock tires in the back. Well, it's got a narrow nine-inch Ford with a Mosier center section and 35 spline axles. Uh, performance torque converter built my transmission. It's a reverse valve body with uh, trans brake and a 4,500 RPM stall converter. Uh, it's got a 505-inch stroker motor. All right. The car is right now running about 660s at about 104 mile an now, hour in the eight. We just passed a racetrack. Is that a circle track or that's is that a dirt track? Yes. That's a dirt track. In fact, okay. There's a new car that the guys across the street just built. Oh, okay, so for the dirt. Gear head nuts around. Okay, it. but yeah, the so. car is, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a race car. It's, okay. Uh, it's all. So it is. It is exactly what it appears to be when you look at it from the road. Yeah, it's all business. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming this isn't your first race car. No. <laughs> That's going to be my wife's little thing. Is that a Skylark? No, a Cutlass. Oh, Cutlass, okay. okay. Is that fiberglass, I'm assuming, or? Oh, get it. There you go. That's a. 505 inch, it's got a, a top cams, hydraulic roller, uh, H-beam rods, icon pistons, it's about 12 to 1, trick blow 270 heads, uh, we had it on a dyno and it made 585 at the back wheels at 5500. What, what's the compression on something like this, 11 and 1, 12 to 1? 11 and a half, 12 to 1. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's quarter mile at a time. Well, eighth mile, but like I said, it's turning 660s. In okay. The so. Really sweet. Yeah. Really sweet. And then what's the uh, transmission he said? It's got a, a 727 torque okay. light with a TCI valve body and a, and performance torque converter down in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, build it for me. Okay. So Kenny Ford is the sweetest person you ever wanted to deal with. Okay. So, he built so. 
built the one in that one too. That's a strip car too? Hmm? Is that a strip car too? Or it's going to be a daily driver drag strip. Uh, okay. They have a, out at our drag strip, they have a, a Friday night daily driver race. What strip is that? What's the name of it? It's uh, Etheridge Motorsports Park in Etheridge, Tennessee. Okay. Down here by Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Okay. So, here, let, well, let me put this back. Right? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys talking to me. I saw it on the side of the road. I know it's, you know, it's not made to get attention with this paint color at all, I'm sure. No. <laughs> right, let's hold the oh, there you go. Yeah, this one, I bought this as a roller. Okay. And we just finished the motor and everything in it. It's, it's got a 350 Chevy and everything in it. Uh, this is a Ratmobile. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Now old school still, huh? Oh yeah. 350 hydraulic flat tap it. Now did you put the, the extra brake system in that, the power brakes, or is it? Yeah. yeah it's got okay. disc on the front, drums okay. on the back, uh, tubular control arms. The body is rust ratty. Right, right. And it's gonna stay that way. Right. But uh, the little beast runs like a car. That's, uh, that yeah, leather wasn't made, and there. Are, oh, look at that! That's a little bit of a cam, huh? Didn't want to spend the extra money for mufflers, evidently. It's got glass packs on. Does it really? When I bought the car. The thrush glass, the old school glass packs. Yeah, the old, uh, you know. The, yeah, the old thrush <coughs> things. It's got a. <coughs> excuse me. It, uh, it had a full exhaust system under it when I bought it. It was chopped off because the car, when the, the guy that had it before me had an LS in it. Okay. So. Yeah. And, ah, it's nice, sweet little rides. Yeah. How you liking the car show going by? Oh, hey. I, I built my first hot rod when I was 16. It was a 40 Ford pickup with a 354 DeSoto Hemi. Yeah. I'm 73 years old now. <laughs> I mean, you know, we did this about two years ago. Right. Before this was a uh, a 52 Ford pickup. And before that was a T-Bucket. Those we kind of sold. And, uh, I got enough money out of it to buy the new truck to tow the car trailer. There you go. So, well, I'm not going to stay long. I just saw the cars and I thought, you know what? I got to stop. I saw that. I'm like, yeah, no, I got to stop. Beautiful cars going by. Oh, there's a, there's about 10,000 there coming by today. 10,000? 10, 10,000. Wow. Is that how many they had over there? That's how much we had. Yeah, it took uh, yesterday. We started checking people in at uh, 8 a.m. At, at, uh, in Memphis and they were still checking people in at 3 in the afternoon. So there's, uh, there's 3,800 long haulers but i spoke to the police officer down here and she said that it they were told to expect ten thousand cars well i know they were backed up in town yeah and we all left at 7 30 from there and it's just i well, can tell you it's not i come out and move the cars out of the garage and that and uh started this at about 7 30 and a 40 ford went by well there's a somebody hit a deer up there with a pontiac oh no. so yeah they're off the side of the road but you know Something's my, buddy, gonna happen. my buddy and his two sons were in Linden a little while ago and called and I give them the heads up. Uh, Jack's uh, one son's boy is autistic and he's hungry so uh, they're backed up in town. If you go up here, uh, there's a, a big stone gate and there'll be a sign here about Lomax Church. If you turn and go to the first road, and go all the way down through it get you by all the stoplights oh. in town and then if you go through that one stop sign and a little ways farther right in a little curve you turn and go over the railroad tracks and you come out between burger king and mcdonald's oh. if you need to get something april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one
says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash dash barn dash finds and you click on that and it's going to take you here